Hey guys, what's up? It's Lauren from the YouTube channel Lord DIY, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make literally the cutest giraffe toe out of a canvas bag, which I pretty much guarantee you have laying around somewhere in your house. So for this craft, I'm going to be using three types of duct tape. So I have prairie patchwork here, fuchsia, and then black, and then also for tools, I've got my scissors, crafting knife, crafting board, and then also a few sheets of wax paper. So I'm just gonna get started by snipping off these handles here because we are upcycling this handle to be so much cuter. So all I'm gonna be doing is covering the entire bag with the fuchsia duct tape using big strips all the way around. And it doesn't matter what length these are, just try and cover as much space as possible. I'm actually just gonna swap this one out for a finished product and it should just look something like this. So to get started with the giraffe body, I'm actually just gonna set my tote aside here and I have a pre-cut template for the body, but you can totally just freehand this and do this however you would like. So I'm just gonna go ahead with my prairie patchwork and lay this right down, making sure that it is long enough for this entire guy's body. And I'm gonna make sure that I'm overlapping a little bit each of my strips that I lay down. So now that I have enough tape set up here, I'm just gonna throw my template right on top and then go ahead and use your crafting knife and just cut that straight out. There we go, so I'm all done. So I'm just gonna go ahead and peel this off. So now to add your giraffe to the tote, we just wanna make sure that left bottom corner is lined up with the left bottom corner of our toe. So go ahead and just secure that on. There we go, so we have a body. So now for the straps, we're actually gonna be using the shape of the giraffe's neck to go all the way around up here and come back down. We're gonna plop our head right here, so he's kinda bending down to say what's up. So I'm gonna set this aside, and you can make your straps as long as you like. It just has to be a double-sided piece. And then with your second piece, we're just gonna plop that right on top, sticky side facing the inside. And then just flatten from the middle going outwards, and that'll get rid of any air bubbles that we have. So we're gonna repeat that exact same process to cut a second strap. So I have one right here. This one is a tiny bit longer just so we have a little bit more neck for the front of the bag. So all you're gonna do is insert about half an inch to an inch. And I'm just gonna stick this right here. And I'm just gonna bring this over to the other side and using another pre-cut strip, I'm just gonna attach that right on the inside of the bag. So now for the front of the bag strap, we have this one, which is gonna go on the inside, and then we're gonna come around on the front, and this one's actually gonna be on the outside because that's where we're gonna attach the head of the giraffe. So I'm just gonna go ahead and flip my bag over so I can work on the inside again and just attach that right on the inside there. So now I'm gonna go ahead and flip the bag over and this is our giraffe buddy's neck. So we're gonna make sure that the neck comes out on the outside of the bag here. And then just using a small piece of tape, I'm just gonna attach the very bottom of it because this is where we're gonna be attaching the head. And now moving on to the head and the other facial features of our giraffe friend. And I think we need a name for him. So let me know if you have a good name for our giraffe friend in the comments below. So I'm gonna set this aside for a sec and then pulling out one of my sheets of wax paper. I'm just going to cover the wax paper with my prairie patchwork. And then I also have a pre-cut template of my giraffe head. You can also freehand this. So now that I have my head cut out, you can just go ahead and repeat that exact same process for the eye, the horn, and the ear. So I have my horn shape right here, so just a you know standard little giraffe horn shape. And then we have a petal shape for the ear, and then a little bit of a smaller petal shape for the eye. So what we're gonna do is actually peel back a little bit of the wax paper. So I'm just gonna peel back maybe about an inch at the top here. I'm gonna stick it and line it up with my neck right here and then secure that, and then we just remove the rest of the wax paper, like so, and just flatten that out and make sure there's no air bubbles. So I'm just gonna align the horn up here with the top of his head, like so, and then I'm gonna plop the ear on right behind the horn, and then his eyeball. And then I'm just gonna cut out a tiny little petal shape for his nose. And there we go, now he can breathe. So now we're all done with our giraffe tote here and you are ready to hit the town and show off your new bag. And there are a ton of different prints that you can use to make this super fun and super cute. Like this one here was made with the flamingo print duct tape and it is so, so cute. I'm absolutely in love with it. So make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this craft. And if you do end up trying out your own animal tote, make sure to tweet us a pic at the duck brands.